Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Fana and on this channel I like to talk about perfumes. In today's video I would like to show you my full perfume collection. So if this sounds interesting to you, please keep on watching and please subscribe and turn on the notification to not miss any of my videos. what do you think about my new background because I don't know yet if I enjoy this one or the more simple couch vibes you know that I always have but uh, I just got these beautiful flowers and I love my candles too so I thought that maybe we could try this background what do you guys think please let me know in the comment section so I'm very proud of my perfume collection. I know that this is not the biggest collection ever, but I'm proud of it because I bought this during the years. So um, I would like to start with, with a, a Bayardo fragrance. I have got two Bayardo fragrances and uh, this one is La Tulip by Bayardo. And this was my first love from this brand. When I went to New York with my mother and my uh, brother, we went to Saks Fifth Avenue and uh, the whole niche word was kind of new to me. And there was a man who sold Bayardo fragrances and when I smelled this I fell in love. So this was a little gift from my mother from that trip. So I am very happy when I think of this fragrance and also this is my second bottle because I love this so much. And this is also a beautiful spring summertime fragrance. Next from Bayardo is Bibliotech. Bibliotech was also a gift. This was a gift from my brother for Christmas and um, you know I just told you that I fell in love with Bayardo fragrances and I come home from New York, a year went by and then I smelled this fragrance in a knee store in Hungary and uh, this is this is just so romantic. This smells like a beautiful romantic rendezvous in a library. It has a lot of fruit notes with the leather and it just smells like old books with some fruit notes and just so romantic and beautiful. So I love this perfume since then, Bibliotech. I would like to continue uh, my fragrances with uh, my one full bottle BDK. Parfum. This is Gris Chanel by BDK Parfums. I bought this fragrance this fall and when I smelled it I couldn't believe that this is so good. It has a lot of interesting notes like it has a fig and cardamom and a beautiful black tea note. So this is very cozy, fall time, gloomy outside weather. I love this so much. So actually this is my favorite perfume from the whole brand. I really enjoy Passessoir and Rue Smoking too, but uh, Gris Chanel is the best in my opinion. Next is uh, Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. This was a gift for my boyfriend when we went to Pandorf uh, and this is, this is a hyped perfume and this is not niche, but uh, I love the cozy, very sweet scents this perfume so I recommend you this perfume if you love sweet fragrances because sometimes this is too sweet for my taste but in the winter time when the weather is cold outside I can enjoy this very much so yes this is a beautiful fragrance flower bomb next is Ariana Grande cloud and uh, this is in my opinion one of the best celebrity fragrances this is a dupe uh, for Baccarat Rouge 540 by MFK. In my opinion, the smell is very similar, but the dry down is what's almost exactly the same to Baccarat Rouge. This has a kind of plasticky smell when you first apply it to your skin, and I don't really enjoy that. This is a nice scent, but I still prefer Baccarat Rouge 540. But I really enjoy using this at home because it's very cozy, marshmallowy, it has lavender, so it's calming too. And also for uh, this price, for a celebrity fragrance, 
This is a 10 out of 10. You can't go wrong with this perfume. Next is Philosicos by Dictic. I bought this uh, the last summer and I love fig notes in, uh, in a perfume. So this wasn't a question for me when I smelled this. This has fig and some green notes and also it has some fig milk. It is a fresh scent, so I love to wear it in the summer, but it has also some milky notes, so it gives a creamy and bougie vibe to the fragrance. So Philosicos is uh, my favorite perfume from the brand Diptyque, but I would love to grow my Diptyque collection because I really enjoy Eau de Elle and also there are a lot of fragrances that I would love to experience. So I can't wait to try more Diptyque fragrances, but for now, Philosicos is my favorite. I would like to continue with my Jo Malone collection because it's quite big. So first I have my favorite from the brand English Parent Freesia. This was my first perfume from the brand and since then it's my favorite. This is white flower, classy, this is beautiful for autumn and springtime. This has a lot of floral notes but also some fruit notes. So this is fruity, floral, and a classy woman smell for me. So I love it very much. And also a lot of Jomelon uh, perfumes don't last that long. But English Parent Frisia, in my opinion, is one of the long lasting perfumes from the collection, except from the intense versions because they are last more obviously. They are intense and they are more expensive. But English Parent Frisia from the regular line it is very long lasting and uh, this is one of my favorites. Next is English Oak and Red Current. And this is just one of my favorite autumn fall perfumes because this is just smells like magical forest to me in a fall time. I love to wear this in the beginning of the fall when the weather is not that cold, but you are so excited uh, for fall. I love fall, that's my favorite season. So this is just a beautiful forest smell to me. It smells woody, but it has some fruit, like red currant, and this is not sweet at all, but it's very nice. And I think that this is, this is very special from Jean Malone. Next is Poppy and Barley. And Poppy and Barley is one of the newer perfumes uh, from Jean Malone, and uh, they actually uh, released a new poppy scent, which is Scarlet Poppy, which is an intense version. And I really enjoyed that too because that is so sweet and nice and the bottle is just, it's red and, and gorgeous. But uh, Poppy and Barley is more fresh. It has obviously Poppy and Barley notes. It is a simple perfume, but uh, this is very uplifting and a fresh, nice scent with a lot of flowers. I enjoy this perfume, but actually my mom enjoys this way more than me. So I gave this to her and this is one of her favorite perfumes next to White Bluebell but I gave this to her because she was obsessed with it so yeah Poppy and Barley next is Peony and Blessed Suede this is just one of my all-time favorites from the brand a lot of uh, people would want to smell their weddings like this because Peony and Blessed Suede is just not just fresh and clean but so interesting because with the Peony and Turkish Rose it has red apple and a suede note. So usually I'm not a fan of leathery notes in my perfume. It just gives me not just a headache, but also a stomach problem. But in this, you can't really smell the leather note. You can smell a little interesting kick to the perfume, which is the suede note. And uh, it is nice, fresh and clean, but not a typical rose, basic kind of perfume smell. This is one of the most bought perfume from the brand and I can see why because this is beautiful and I love to wear this during spring, summer and also during fall. So this is an all year round perfume. Peony and Blessed Suede. Next is Wood Sage and Sea Salt and I already talked about this perfume a lot in my channel because I love it so much. It's a totally unisex perfume and this is aquatic, fresh, it has some ocean vibe, it has sea salt, sage uh, with the aquatic notes. So this is an uplifting, beautiful scent. I wore this during the last year at my uni, so I always remember that time. And uh, this is a happy scent for me. I love it too. 
From Jean Melon, the next one is White Bluebell. White Bluebell is my mother's favorite, most used fragrance. And I really enjoy it too. I get a lot of compliments when I use it. It just smells like a fairy tale. It has clove, a bell flower note, also lily of the valley. This is a nice fresh spring scent and it just smells like the English fields. It's, it's beautiful. This is a womanly, clean, nice scent in my opinion. And I love this one on my mother, especially. And my last one from the brand is an intense perfume. This is called Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. I got this one for my birthday like a few years ago and since then I'm obsessed with it. This is so interesting. This is not a typical lily perfume because the ginger gives it a little bit of a spicy, sexy feeling to it. This is beautiful itself, but I love to combining the Jomo fragrances. And my favorite combination is dark amber and ginger lily with English brand Freesia. I really recommend you to try that combination because it's beautiful. It's dark, sexy, but also uplifting and fresh and just a girl boss scent in my opinion. So dark and brand ginger lily. Next we have Valentino Donna. I bought this perfume when I uh, went to Tel Aviv with my mother. We had a beautiful time there. It was a girl trip and honestly we had the best time. And I love to buy perfumes at the um, Dutty Free section because first of all I love a good deal and second of all I love to have a new perfume for a new adventure because when I smell this perfume I always remember my time with my mother at Tel Aviv. So I really enjoy this scent. This is also sexy and very girl boss scent in my opinion. I don't really use that much this perfume since I have uh, some that I enjoy more but I will never get rid of this perfume because every time I smell it I remember my beautiful time there. So I really enjoy this scent since then. Valentino Donna. Next is from Emporio Armani and this is because it's you. Now it has little story behind this perfume. Usually I'm not the biggest fan of the Armani perfumes. It's just not for me, their perfumes. But we went out like a few years ago with my friends and uh, there was a girl, I never knew her before. I never met her before, but uh, I smelled this perfume on her and I was obsessed. It's like, what are you wearing? It's, it's unforgettable and beautiful and nice. And she told me that she wore Because It's You. So next day I went to the store, I bought this perfume like in a minute and actually I love this on myself. So this was a very good buy for me because since then I love it and this is a daytime fragrance so I wouldn't wear this to a date maybe. I love to wear more sexy and deeper fragrances to date night but this is beautiful for work. This is a universal perfume, you know. So yeah, because it's you. My next perfume is uh, by Chloe and it's called Love Story. Now this is my third bottle from this perfume because this was a love for me. I went to Paris with my best friend four or five years ago and I saw the commercial about this perfume and it was a love story in Paris and I was a teenager and I was like, oh my God. I want this love story for myself and then I smelled the perfume. I loved it too. I enjoyed it very much and I also was thinking all the time for the commercial when I wore it and also my time there at Paris and we loved our trip with my best friend. We had a lot of fun there. I love love story since then. I really enjoy all of the Chloe perfumes because they are all fresh and nice clean and really it's just beautiful. This is this just looks like a locket. I don't know if it's still a thing in Paris, but they had some bridges that had a lot of lockets and I will never get rid of love story. When I didn't have a boyfriend, I remember that when I went on a date, I always <laughs> tried to use this perfume because I was like, you know, maybe he's going to be the one. And then I can tell that when I met him, I wore love story and this is just such a good 
happy ending but uh, with my boyfriend i actually used another perfume uh, on our first date and i'm happy that i used another one because i tried this perfume so much to use on a date that uh, i'm happy that i used another one which i haven't used in another date so love story is beautiful nice and i just remember my teenage years next is by Maison Francis Coupe de Jean Baccarat Rouge 540. You just saw that I uploaded an unboxing video because I was so excited when I got this perfume and I'm since then so excited. I wanted this perfume for so long and I used three or four samples from Baccarat Rouge 540 and uh, I just love it. I know that this is a very popular perfume and a lot of people wear this perfume but actually not in Hungary. So I just smelled this like two or three times in a year. So I wouldn't say that it's a popular fragrance in Hungary, but I know that in the fragrance community, it's sometimes they say that it's too popular and it's boring, blah, blah, blah. But I'm obsessed with it. I love it. And I couldn't be happier that I have this in my collection and I will keep this forever because it has a beautiful engraved a letter to me so yeah back Rouge 540 oh and also i am obsessed with the mfk the whole brand i got a lot of samples and i tried all of them and i would love to get a few perfumes from that brand too like i love grand soir i love le a la rose i really enjoy aquavite and I also really, really enjoy Baccar Rouge 540, the extra de perfume version and Oud Satin Mood. So there are a lot that I enjoyed. In my opinion, Francis Cook de Jean is one of the best noses out there. And my last brand that I would like to talk about is actually one of my favorite brands in the industry and it's Killian. So I would like to start with Angel Share. Angel Share is a beautiful cognac perfume and the bottle itself is just a work of art in my opinion. This is sometimes gives me a little bit of masculine vibes but, uh, but I don't freak out because I love masculine perfumes too and And this is just gorgeous winter scent. It was beautiful. I wore it on Christmas Day and it's warm, cozy, nice and interesting. Like this is not just the bottle itself. It's gorgeous, but the scent is so special itself. So yeah, enjoy share. Next from the brand is uh, Good Girl Gone Bad. Now, I wanted this fragrance for years now and I'm happy that I could afford this last year and since then I wore it so much and my mother also enjoyed this very much so maybe I have to buy her another bottle but uh, next maybe I'm going to buy the Fresh or the Extreme version because I love that one too um, the Extreme version is a little bit sweeter on the other hand the Fresh version is more watery, fresh it could be beautiful for summer but i wanted to buy the classic version because this was my first love from the brand this is a beautiful white flower tuberose clean womanly and a classy scent the bottle itself is beautiful the fragrance is gorgeous i'm proud of myself that i can afford now this this fragrance because i worked so hard and yeah good girl from bed and the last one from the brand is actually maybe one of my favorites. I mean, maybe one of my all-time favorite perfume. And I couldn't believe that I said this because I thought that I'm not a huge fan of tuberose. But Rolling in Love, because we're talking about Rolling in Love, it is just mysterious, sensual, special. The bottle is blood red the scent is a creamy milky tuberose with some iris with some almond milk this is a 10 out of 10 perfume for me and i will always have this in my collection i use this so much i am obsessed with it and i will continue to wear this during spring summer fall winter 
like this is one of my most used fragrances and then to the last perfume which was on my 2021 wish list and I got it and I'm so happy that I did because this is just sexy this is just unstoppable beautiful like let me show you I got side effect by Initio Parfums Privé and oh my goodness I never smelled a perfume like this before I love the whole brand uh, there are a lot of fragrances and uh, perfumes that I enjoyed from the brand like Rehab and also Psychedelic Love when I smelled side effect I couldn't believe that I smelled a beautiful perfume like this Demi Rowling always says that this is a sex in a bottle perfume and she's so right like it's so sensual and this is my favorite daytime fragrance when you want to feel sexy confident you would like to wear your black red or like a sexy dress you want to wear high heels also this is a beautiful a beautiful unisex fragrance because i love this on my boyfriend oh my god this is just sexy on him too this is deep it has tobacco and also vanilla and cinnamon so i think that maybe this is not the best scent for summer and the nice warmer weather but i couldn't be happier that i bought this because in the winter time this is just makes me so happy that i finally own this fragrance and the bottle itself is looks gorgeous too so yes side effect so guys this was all of my perfumes i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i'm really proud to my collection because i grow this collection for years now and uh, there are a lot more that i would love to have but for now i am happy that i own this much because this is a lot in my opinion and uh, I would love to know your thoughts on my collection, like what do you think, do you enjoy one of them, two or them, or do you even know these perfumes? And also I would love to know if you would love to get one of them from the collection, like I would love to have which one is, is the best and, and yeah, things like that. So I hope you enjoy this guys and it means a lot to me that you watch my video. Thank you from the bottom of my heart and please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification to not miss my videos. I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.